The movie that I have on my screen in front of you is actually the opening tutorial for the semester. It's called Web Assets 2. The reason why I'm having you watch this Web Assets 1 movie is that I need to fix about two or three things that are in this movie and I don't want to redo this movie because I say a lot of really good things and I go through the entire as you can see I go through the entire lesson but the biggest thing is and why I'm having you watch this first movie is when I get to the end of this I actually forget and this is the end of the movie I actually forget to show you how to darken the background that I'm about to show you right now. So this background is where I want you to actually come back at the end of this movie to this movie right now. Um, I'm going to show you two things and then I'll give you the timestamp on this movie approximately that um, you can come back to. So my direction to you is um, after I show you these next two things about um, guides and about um, the way my photography page is going to look and I'll show you that right now um, you come back to this movie to do the very last step which is to darken this background one of the two things I wanted to show you was when I clicked this photography page it was supposed to go in and I thought about it after it was over I wanted you in a portfolio page for the extra credit aspect of this either you do it now or at the end of the semester to show your original work along with the revised work which is the center of the screen here so I'm going to um, minimize this screen and show you that at the 239 mark somewhere around right here this is where I actually take you um, and I'll let myself do the talking right now so, so just listen to what I have to say oh, services work in contact then the words Sorio portfolio or your name portfolio I'm going to advance it a little bit to let you see that I actually do this. Normal state is just when you don't see any things change. And just hold on a second. You actually move your mouse over an item. Now this rollover for photography actually works and I have put into the first module for the web assets this photography JPEG for you. So you could, if you want to, go do the extra credit portion of this assignment. You don't have to. But, and yours does not have to be filled with all these pictures, but I wanted to show you that these don't link to anything because I haven't made them active yet, but this one does. Now see how, this I'm going to stop it right now. See how this one links to the actual photography finished version. What I really wanted you to see was, again, that I have it linked and show the original. So in your module folder, I'm going to have something called, and I'll show it to you right here, I'm going to have something called, let me remember where I put it actually, um, I'm bringing over the folder, it's going to be the face original JPEG that I want you to download, and the photography JPEG. So both the face original and let me um, just hold the command key down and I'm going to double click them and these two JPEGs, that one and this one are the two that I want you to download for the extra credit version of this. And I'll even say in the module extra credit. Okay, so I'm going to close those and then I'm going to show you the one other thing that I wanted you to see and then as soon as I am done showing you the guides stop this movie go right into this movie and um, let me close that go right into the web assets 2 and begin the assignment okay and then come back to the web assets 1 movie to darken the background that's it so I'm going to bring over Photoshop again and I'm going to show you that at many times um, and I want to turn off these folders and I want to hit something called command semicolon which I'll talk about many times when I actually make guides to show up on the screen and I'm gonna hit a certain button which I talk about in the real tutorial movie or in the main tutorial movie I'm gonna hit the F button now don't write that down yet but um, when I put a guide from the rulers onto a page 
my web program that I use to make these movies with, sometimes the guy doesn't show up. Except when you magnify the screen and get closer like this, the guides look like they disappear and they reappear. On my screen, they're always there. On your screen in the tutorial, they kind of disappear. And that's just because of the resolution of the movie and the speed of the movie. I'm recording at 15 frames per second. That's all I wanted you to know. Now, from this portion, you can stop this movie because from right now, I'm going to show you how I darken this background. So, I actually want you, I'm going to hit the F button again, I actually want you to go on to the tutorial movie. I want you to do the entire tutorial from this point on, as I tell you, and then when you get to the very end of this, where I haven't darkened the background, I'm moving this on my other screen now, I'm going to show you how I darken the background. So, it was supposed to look like this. So I'm going to hit the F button and cascade that to full screen. This is the way the background looks at the end of the, of the second movie. This is the way I want it to look, okay, with the darker background. So all you have to do in order to do that is to, and I'm going to um, show you that I added a gradient overlay. That's, I'm turning it on and off right now. So I'm going to turn this off. Just do this step for me. When you have the background layer selected, over to the right of the name, double click. Just click the word gradient overlay here. Don't click the check mark box because it'll automatically fill. Just click over here. And now in the gradient overlay, these are my numbers. Now I want to move this up so you can see what I'm talking about. And I'm going to um, minimize the size. And then you do it, Ben. You'll know when I say to option middle mouse button, zoom in and zoom out, you'll know that by now, okay? So um, I added a gradient overlay. You can control how much of that gradient is here and you can see how I put it on multiply as a color mode. And then I also put in here um, that I wanted it to be a radial, not linear blend. I wanted it to be radial. Then I double clicked this or just single click this, I'm sorry, and I moved the white marker right here from where it was. Look at how this is going to change now. And as I move it over to the left, watch how it gets bigger over here on the screen. So I moved it about that much over and now it gets slightly bigger. You can move it anywhere you want. But if the farther you move it over, the more that the highlight or spotlight effect shows up. Now, I'm going to leave it back about where I had it. Actually, I'll just cancel that. And then you can put your opacity on anything you want. I had mine on 65%. But if I move it up to about 80%, look at how the edges get darker and darker and darker the farther you go towards 100. So you can leave it anywhere you want. And I have my Macomb logos in here. You will probably just have dots. Or you will have listened to the tutorial movie and you would have put your own image inside of there, which is perfectly fine with me. So I'm going to click cancel on that. And um, actually, I shouldn't have clicked cancel. I should have clicked gradient overlay. Just leave it alone. I actually liked the way that looked at um, 60 at 80%. So I'm going to go back to 80 and click OK. So actually that does look too dark so I'm gonna go back like this an artist is never happy with what they do so I'm gonna leave it on 65 percent or 66 that's fine with me so this is where I want you now to be at the end of the movie so you are going to actually have just like I did just like I turned on these I'm gonna go back to the movie and bring it on the screen so here's the difference look at at the end of the first movie this is where I wanted you to be when you turn it in but I actually want you to be here. So please turn in the one that has the darker background and then go on to the second project.